Hi everyone, this is Ali Russell from Divine Miss Ruby Designs and Ali Russell Photography. Um, this is just a really basic video, a quick one, I won't go on too long. Um, it's just about how to extend your backdrops for those who may not know how to do it or are new to the industry and want to keep learning. So um, I've chosen this image here and I'm in Lightroom at the moment. I tend to use Lightroom or Bridge depending what I'm doing on the day. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I prepare my images um, and then take them into Photoshop and extend the backdrop. So, um, baby's fairly well exposed, but for me to give, to get a um, nice even kind of um, base for me to start editing, I reduce my contrast and I reduce my whites and my highlights back a bit. And it just gives you, takes away any of those hot spots from exposure, overexposure or a bit bright um, and you can also just bring down your shadows a little bit. So that's what I do first. This is pretty much all I do in Lightroom. It's just my basic corrections which is what I'd do in ACR if I was using Bridge. So I'm just going to flick it into Photoshop. And be mindful, everything's a bit slower because I've got I'm recording. Okay, so basically we've got the edge over here, and we've got the edge over here, and we may not want to lose that for this particular photo. So to start with, I'm going to crop, and I prefer my images just off centre. So I've cropped down one side and I'm going up a little bit more on the other side. Okay. It's going to create even more, oops, sorry I had a preset for a Facebook set. It's going to create even more um, non-backdropped area I suppose over here, over to the right hand side. It's kind of fixed this section here and I'll show you how to fix that as well. So all you need to do is go up to your marquee tool and select your rectangle. It must be on the background layer for this to work. So you need to do it before you start editing. Um, otherwise you're not going to be able to do the content aware. Um, I believe content aware, content aware is available on CS6 and above. So marquee, that one didn't work. Let's try again a little bit wider. My key this section, you hit delete, and make sure that your content aware is selected here, and you just hit OK. And what your computer does, and what Photoshop does, more to the point, is it takes parts of the other image to then create that section. A little bit harder if you've got a pattern backdrop, um, like something floral or you know something with a pattern, that may be a little bit trickier. And it may take a little bit more um, playing around. Sometimes I have to do smaller sections at a time. I generally shoot on the Divine Miss Ruby painter backdrop designs and um, they're quite easy to find. Okay, so you've got a little bit of funny repeated pattern here, but this is easy enough to fix. All right, so go over to your clone tool. I leave my opacity around 55%, somewhere around there. And then select the part and hit using I'm on a Mac. So option click, I'm not sure what it is on a PC. And you can just work it down the image to clone in the backdrop. I'm going to go a little bit closer now. While I do tend to have um, darker tones, to my right because I have shadow, um, I'm not losing that, it's still, but it's a little bit more subtle. Okay, and you just do the same over here. So you just select from an area around, you wouldn't select from something over on the right hand side because it's a darker tone. And that's pretty much how you um, 
edit and extend your backdrop. So I'll take a picture. So that's what it was. And I think that's what it is. And when I offer my clients their galleries, um, I only edit between six and ten images. Um, they know what the output's then going to look like. And I soft proof. So I would soft proof not even with a backdrop extension. If they choose that image, they know that they're going to get everything finished properly. Um, it, it saves me time. It means I'm only editing images that they're purchasing um, because I'm pretty time poor. So um, now when I go through my workflow, part of my workflow is to blow this background a little bit more even to soften it. But there's a basic basic video on how to extend your backgrounds. hope that helps for any of the newbies or anyone who didn't know how to use Content Aware. Brilliant tool. See ya.